Why hello and welcome to my 2017 PCT gear list review thing. Start with the most important thing. Uh, I got my pack. It's the uh, Dyneema Grid Stop X Plante Simple Pack. Uh, I love this thing. Um, it's once once you get used to carrying something lower weight and just like all the pockets on the straps and the bottom pocket for snacks. It's, I don't know, I, it's pretty perfect. I uh, had it since build in, almost no wear and tear in it, so yeah, can't recommend that enough. Um, sleeping system, uh, got my uh, Sea to Summit Eros pillow. This is like 60 bucks. Um, very comfortable, feels like a real kind of pillow, not like a, a balloon or anything. Um, I'd get this again. This is my tarp, um, Aqua Quest. It's, it's probably like 10 by 6 feet. I don't know. It's pretty big. It fits two people. Um, it's definitely a lightweight option, but I hardly use it. I almost would want to go lighter. Um, I've got my titanium tent stakes and the twine and everything in here. So I almost never used it. Um, but it's it's a good it's like you know sixty bucks it was good bang for the buck uh, it's still nylon instead of Cuban fiber it's kind of the jump if you want to spend a lot more money you go Cuban but maybe one day um, this is my Thermarest X Pad Neo Light whatever pad it's the yellow one that everyone has Thermarest Neo Air X Light. Um, yeah, it's uh, really solid. Um, carried it the whole trip. I got a little hole in the desert, patched it up. Um, maintained pretty well. Definitely kind of leaked air a little bit towards the end, but nothing that would really wake me up in the middle of the night. I actually kind of made it a little bit more comfy. Um, definitely not perfect, but I think it's pretty good uh, for right now. Um, definitely the most comfortable sleeping option. Um, don't roll your eyes at me. Uh, this is the Tyvek ground sheet, um, it's big, soft, on Amazon, I would buy it again, I like it. This is my enlightened equipment, uh, quilt, 20 degrees, um, I got the, like, treated down so it stays warm even when it's kind of wet, um, I like it a lot, it's, I mean, it packs down super small, I would definitely use this, it's... I mean, when it gets really cold out, it can be not as nice as a sleeping bag, but it's not something that's... It's, you can deal with it. How cold was it? Uh, it got down to, like, probably almost 20 degrees, so... You know, it was good. It just bundled up with everything. Um, shoes, I ended up with a pair of uh, Superior 3.0s from Ultra. Um, they were pretty good. Uh, Definitely noticed some rubbing on my toe right here. I don't know what that was about, but it stopped pretty quick once they broke in. How many miles did you do on these pair? Oh, I don't know, like 300 or something. Um, yeah, uh, then I always had the bandana, which, you know, I would throw, you know how I wore the bandana. Um, needed that. Uh, I walked the whole thing and just a pair, two pairs of, uh, Ex officio um, underwear. I'm still wearing these in the real world. I love them. They dry really fast. They don't hold stink that much, um, and they don't chafe at all. That's a big reason why I wear these is because they're the most comfortable things to walk in, and they don't chafe, and there's nothing extra there. Cool. Um, coolest trail shirts. Uh, everyone's wearing these bad boys. Um, I don't know. They're Five bucks at most thrift shops. Um, I try to get rayon ones, which is like a faux silk. They dry pretty fast. They can open up all the way um, in the desert when it's super hot, and they're comfortable enough to sleep in. Um, like these a lot. Uh, I carried this Ibex merino wool hoodie layer for most of the trip. I got rid of this in Northern California when it was getting really hot. It's inside out right now. It's fine. Um, it's like a hundred bucks. It's a little expensive, um, but I would probably get it again. I wouldn't be stoked at paying what I pay for it, um, but it's definitely a super solid mid-layer. 
Um, it's a duo fold, their thickest uh, tights option. Um, I really like these. These are pretty cheap. I think these are like 25 or 30 bucks on Amazon. Um, I got like the, these are 2XL. They were probably a little bit too big. XL is probably good for me, but they run a little bit small. I would definitely get these again. Um, and then this is just my uh, Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisper jacket. Um, it's the lightest down jacket, or at least it was when I got it a year or so ago. Um, definitely helped out, worked out really well. It's the only layer I had from like Northern California on. Definitely would have liked the mid layer um, towards the end of the trip when it was cold in the mornings because this isn't very good to hike in. You tend to overheat even when it's too cold to hike without it. So it's kind of like feeling like a menopausal woman, you know. Um, but yeah, I would, I would get this again. I think I saw it on sale for like 150. I think I paid like closer to 270 for this. I wouldn't buy it again for that price. I'd probably try the Melanzana fleece hoodie that everyone was wearing this year. Um, these just darn tough socks, different ones I wore. I like these ultra light ones, but I wore through the bottom of them pretty quickly. Um, these ones, you know, they're good. They just take a long time to wash my hand in town. Uh, little things in my bag. Got the rechargeable um, headlamp. I think I got this on mono price for like 10 bucks. Very light, good, reliable, cheap option for a headlamp. Um, so a squeeze, solid. I should have used it more. I wouldn't have gotten Giardia probably. Um, spot, uh, I didn't really have this, or I didn't really use it that much, but I know my family likes me carrying it. And Jessica definitely might have cried to make me use it. Uh, <laughs> and then what uh, I got a little knife, little scissors, uh, I love Burt's Bees, Advil, weed shit, carry a grinder, people thought that was ridiculous, but luxury item. Um, headphones, definitely listen to a lot of podcasts, uh, audiobooks, just, you know, long, long shit. Um, I don't have my battery pack. I've got the like little thousand milliamp uh, anchor external battery and charges that. That works great. I totally recommend all that stuff, especially that. Um, and then it's so one of the many pair of glasses that I wore. These uh, I wore in the Sierra, the Julbo. I don't even know how you say that. Um, but they're kind of like glacial glacier glasses where they black out light on the side. Um, I really like these glasses. They're like 60 bucks on Amazon. I definitely went through two pairs of them though. So, you know, you gotta be kind of general. Definitely use this. Um, yeah, I would get these again. What did you carry in the fanny pack? Oh, my fanny pack was pretty much my wallet um, in town. So, my permit, my uh, cash, my ID, my debit card, wallet stuff. What about your food bag? Food bag. Um, I carried food in here pretty good. I don't know. I'd take out snacks and put it in the under pocket during the day. Um, yeah. Uh, carnation in the morning is a great thing. Uh, sugar and bars throughout the day and then a little meat and cheese at night. It's, it seemed to be what I ended up with. Uh, the rest of the stuff is kind of serious stuff or stuff I sent back or whatever. Um, this was like a little 40 dial. $40 uh, Mylar on the inside bivy. I carried this throughout the Sierra just to make sure it was a little bit warmer. Uh, mostly for wind. Worked out pretty well uh, for 40 bucks. Probably would go with something a little bit bigger next time. Um, but yeah, I can't complain. 40 bucks. Um, this I carried. This is a Marmot Precip. Uh, shell. Um, I like the jacket a lot. I just didn't really need it that much. Um, I wish I had it towards the end of the trip, maybe. But um, yeah, for the PCT, I mean, maybe for the Sierra, I would carry it next time, and just not for and Sierra and Cascades, I might carry it if I did it again. But the rest of the time, probably not. Um, I carried another pair of. Uh, 
Loctites. Uh, I thought I would want to sleep in these ones more. Um, cold proof. I don't know. It's just something I found on Amazon. Um, sent these back. Don't need two tights. The other ones works good for sleeping and walking in. Uh, the original trail shirt. Uh, just shredded this motherfucker. Um, yeah. It's another rayon. It's good. I like it. Uh, good cheap options. I love those. Um, Black Diamond climbing gloves. Uh, I've used them a little bit in the Sierra. Not really much besides that. I don't know if I'd carry these again. Um, bug net, definitely good in the Sierra. I mean, I cowboy camp most of the time, so I wore this. I didn't really wear this a lot. I thought I'd wear it more. I probably should have worn it more, but um, it packs down to nothing. I'm not worried about it. These are like uh, snow gaiters um, for the Sierra. I almost never wore them just kind of too much to put on and off everything's gonna get kind of wet and cold anyways kind of just dead weight kind of the same in my opinion for the crampons I get you know a lot of people would want them and don't not take them because I say I didn't really use them um, I'd probably go with a micro spike just something a little bit more comfortable on the shoes something a little bit more packable um, which ones are those Catula K10s, these are like the lightest, most flexible, um, the ones that are easiest to use with trail runners. Um, yeah, you know, I used them going up Forster, not much besides that. BV450, uh, I'm supposed to carry it throughout the whole Sierra. You can get by with a lot at the beginning, going bear box to bear box if that's your prerogative, but don't risk a ticket. Um, this is a little tin cup from Tokes. Uh, this was nice at uh, places where, if you're stoveless, if you, you're at places where you can have a campfire, just to set this right by, and you can heat it up like that if you don't have a stove. Did you go stoveless most of the time? Most of the time, a little bit. Uh, I mean, I was so obsessed with coffee, so I had a stove in the beginning, but I got rid of it pretty fast, and then, yeah, you just, it's, when you get done with, you know, hiking, you just want to eat something right away and pass out, kind of, so, um, I didn't even really think, like, oh, I'm going to go steal this, because any reason, it was just, like, I just want to eat something fast. Um, these Dirty Girl Gators, really, really popular, um, keep dirt out of your shoe. I like to take my shoes on and off a lot, especially in the desert, so, um, these are just kind of got in the way more than anything. Whip it, which is great in the Sierra. I got the carbon fiber one. I definitely broke it though by, I don't, it's my fault I didn't have this like sun cup or the snow cup on it. So kind of went down in deep and I fell and snapped it. But uh, this is a lot nicer to carry than a regular ice axe. It's always out. I don't have a pole in addition to this. This is like my hiking pole. So um, it works super well. It's really lightweight. It's a little expensive. It was like 140. I'd, probably still get it. Like, ugh. Some bug. I'm not scared of bugs. Um, I would definitely use it again. It's good stuff. Uh, everyone's favorite shoe, the Lone Peak 2.5s. I think they're done for now. Um, shoes are so comfortable. How many pairs you go through? Uh, three of these and then one superior. The third pair of these I shredded though. I should have probably gotten like one more pair to be honest. How many miles did you get in on those? Um, I think the first pair like 500, the second pair only like 400, but it was through the Sierra, and then the last pair probably like close to like, I don't know, like 700 or more, um, yeah, but really only 500 miles per shoe is good, generally speaking, yeah, and then uh, original simple pack, it's a fucking awesome pack, I definitely had it overloaded and overstuffed when I first got it. Um, the X-Pack material doesn't really flex very well, so when you have it stuffed like a sausage like I did and running around and a little overweight, it uh, can tend to rip a little bit more than flex, so um, if you're getting a pack like this, you gotta make sure you're actually not overstuffing it and have it be 
You have to be really ultralight, bro. You can't be fucking posing. Not with the X-Pack. Um, that's why I like my grid stop one. It's kind of like my dense, like, safety helmet one. You can beat a tell. Oh, also this. Just a rain cover for mittens. I never used it for the Sierra. Yeah. Just, you don't need it. You know? I don't know. So 198 with the bag on. Okay. Push that down. First one? 198, so seven pound base weight. So seven pound base weight. Cool. That's like pretty ultra light. Good work. I haven't done a measurement yet. Let's go hiking. <laughs> 